Hello guys, you are most welcome once again in Easy Economics session. And in today's video, I am going to discuss Ricardo theory of international trade, a very important theory in macroeconomics. And I think uh, most of the students feel it very difficult. So I am going to explain it in very easy manner so that you can understand it easily and you will be able to write properly in your examination. So we'll see. This theory was developed by David Ricardo and this is one of the oldest theories of international trade. This theory is also known as comparative cost advantage theory and it was published in 1817 in the very famous book of David Ricardo that is principles of political economy and taxation. According to Ricardo theory, other things being equal, a country tends to specialize in and export those commodities in the production of which it has maximum comparative cost advantage or minimum comparative disadvantage. Similarly, the country will import goods having relatively greater cost disadvantage. The whole theory is explained in this particular statement. What does it mean? In simple words, we can say a country will produce and export that commodity which is comparatively cheaper to produce and import those commodities which is relatively expensive to produce in home country. Ricardo has explained this theory with the help of one example, he has taken two countries to explain this theory. These two countries are England and Portugal. Two commodities. Two commodities are cloth and wine and one factor of production that is labor. Now here we'll see the cost situation in both the countries. This is labor cost per unit. Okay, because here we have assumed that labor is the only cost of production. So we'll see the situation in England. In England, to produce one unit of wine, 120 labor is required, while for producing one unit of cloth, 100 labor is required. At the same time, in Portugal, 80 labor is required to produce one unit of wine and 90 labor is required to produce one unit of cloth. If we see carefully, then we can say England has absolute disadvantage in producing both the commodities. Why so? Because for both the commodities, England requires more number of labor as compared to Portugal. So Portugal has absolute disadvantage, sorry, absolute advantage in producing both the commodities because here comparatively less labor is required to produce both the commodities okay so in this situation you can say that uh, how the international trade is possible it is not possible because england in england both the commodities will be expensive and in portugal both the commodities are less expensive but according to ricardo in this situation also international trade between these two countries is possible and both the countries will have maximum benefit from this international trade. How this is possible we will see further. Now here we will understand how the international trade between Portugal and England will take place and how it will be beneficial for both the countries. For this, we have to understand the comparative cost advantage in both the countries for both the commodities. Okay, so carefully we have to understand this table. First, we'll see the situation in Portugal. What will be the cost of per unit wine in Portugal? So the cost of per unit wine in Portugal will be 80 upon 120 is equal to 0 0.66. What is these values? These values are already given in the previous slide in the table. 
that 80 labor is required to produce wine in Portugal and 120 labor is required to produce wine in England. So we can find out per unit cost of wine in Portugal as compared to England. Okay, so 80 upon 120 then value comes as 0 0.66. Similarly, we can find out the cost of one unit of cloth in Portugal as compared to England. So 90 upon 100 is equal to 0 0.9. If you see carefully in Portugal, the cost of wine is less than the cost of cloth. So here we can say Portugal has definitely absolute advantage in producing both the commodities but comparatively it has more advantage in producing wine than producing cloth. Iska kya matlab hua? Iska matlab ye hua ki Portugal jo hai wo wine ko produce karega. Isme wo specialization lega and wine ko produce karega. Thik hai? Now we'll see the situation in England. In England, the per unit cost of wine will be 120 upon 80. What it will be? 1.5. So, per unit cost of wine as compared to Portugal, in England, the cost is 1.5, while the cost of producing one unit of cloth will be 100 upon 90. It is 1.11. So here also you can see that cost of wine is greater than cost of cloth in England. Matlab, England mein dono hi commodity ko produce karna absolutely disadvantageous. Hai. Already we have discussed in the previous slide. कि इंग्लैंड में दोनों ही कमोडिटी को प्रोड्यूस करना पोर्चुगल से कंपैरेटिवली महंगा है बट जब हम यहां पे कंपेयर करते हैं पोर्चुगल से तो फिर हमको ये पता चलता है कि इंग्लैंड में क्लोथ प्रोड्यूस करना वाइन प्रोड्यूस करने से ज्यादा चीपर है ठीक है तो इसका मतलब हुआ कि इंग्लैंड को क्या प्रोड्यूस करना चाहिए क्लोथ इंग्लैंड को क्लोथ प्रोड्यूस करना चाहिए एंड पोर्चुगल को वाइन प्रोड्यूस करना चाहिए ओके सो पोर्चुगल हैज एडवांटेज ऑफ लोअर कॉस्ट इन बोथ द कमोडिटीज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन द प्रीवियस टेबल बट कंपैरेटिव एडवांटेज इज ग्रेटर इन वाइन मतलब पोर्चुगल में दोनों ही गुड्स प्रोड्यूस करना चीपर है बट कंपैरेटिवली वाइन प्रोड्यूस करना और भी चीपर है ठीक है while England may dono hi produce karna, dono hi commodity produce karna mehenga hai, disadvantage hai. But comparatively agar dekha jaya, to isko wine produce karne mein jada disadvantage hai. Iska matlab hua ki England may cloth produce karna comparatively cheaper hai. So what is the conclusion now? Portugal specializes in wine where it has greater comparative advantage and England specializes in cloth where it has minimum comparative disadvantage. Okay, so in this way, Ricardo proved that comparative cost difference is the base for specialization and trade. In this particular example, Portugal will specialize in wine and export it to England, while England will specialize in cloth and export it to Portugal. So, Portugal will export wine, import cloth from England. England will export cloth and import wine from Portugal. So, in this situation, both the countries will have maximum benefit from international trade and both the countries will be in win-win situation. So, this is the basis for international trade as explained by Professor Ricardo. And at present also, we follow some to some extent this theory in the international trade market.
Okay. Hope you have understood this theory. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.